Like hair brushes. Here, brush your hair. For me. She also likes guns. Or knives. Or bludgeons. I don't know. Uh. That's true. You need to go in order to brush. Uh, he has a laser laser brush. Laser brush! Activate! What is his name? Dodongo? Ow! His name is Doggy. Okay, Doggy. Brush Doggy. Brush Doggy. Brush Doggy. Brush Doggy. Brush Brush You killed him. You killed him. Oh, he's like, oh, oh. This is why he should never be a hairstylist. <laughs>
that's a thing now, huh? <clears throat> All right, my first try at a Thai Krispy Kreme. I've never had these before. This is the uh, salty one. And I, it looks like carrots, but I don't know. It tastes kind of sweet. Maybe I got the sweet one and didn't mean to. I thought she said it was salty. And two flavors, salty or sweet. I have never tasted anything like this before. I think it's veg. The boy has developed an addiction to uh, soft drinks. Here's. An addiction to what? Soft drinks. Who gave him the first soft drink anyway? Uh, but it was before I went back to America. He had it in India. Oh, okay. We would drink it in India. Crepe was okay. One of my favorite. I like the uh, barbecue pasta, yeah. and I liked the taro one. That was yeah. really good. Yeah, that barbecue pasta, that was the best barbecue pasta I've yeah. had in a long time, good. actually. This is chicken and coconut milk and uh, pork and coconut milk. That's what these skewered ones were. Yeah, so... It's pretty can, good. Yeah, you can. Pork is way better though, man. Oh well, yeah, your action. The green onion on it's good. What is it? Is it carrots? Mmm. Can't tell what it is. It's good. It does have it's like some coconut. Oh yeah, there's coconut. I like it though. It's yeah, kind it's... of chewy. It's like caramelized on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the coconut and green onions on top is really nice. Yeah, it's very interesting. I can't quite. Figure it out. I like it though. Tell us about your blizzard. I didn't realize quite how small a small was. So it's okay, I might just have to go back and get another one. I'm alright with that. So what does it get on a motoconomometer rating? I think that gets an open mouth smile. I bet if I got this on the street it would be amazing. She is so stingy with her motoconomometer. Almost if I like it, it's pretty much automatically yeah. XD. No. That's like when people ask you to take a survey, rate this from one to five, you always say four. You never ever say five, unless it's like. People call me the cynic. What? Yeah. The great thing about mango sticky rice is it really is a testament to the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Because all mango sticky rice is, is just a mango, sticky rice, sweet and condensed milk and crunchies. And you know, some of those things, sticky rice, mangoes, I mean, they're pretty good on their own. Really good mangoes, really good on its own. But when you put them all together, it's like our powers combined. We are Captain Mango Sticky Rice. And there is nothing better. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you got me at this. Uh, all right, that's enough. Hey, hey. Up here, buddy. <laughs> That's exactly what I just thought. <laughs> it is a happy day indeed. God bless us, everyone. Addicted to A and W now. Obsessed with it. Oh well, like father, like son, I guess. Well, Melissa persevered and finally got him to taste some uh, sticky rice. Oh yeah, big bite. Mm. All right, what do you think? What's the emoticonomometer rating? Yes, yes it is. What's your emoticonomometer rating for sticky rice? Meh. Uh. Look at this lame-o over here. No, no, no. She can, it's not lame. It's it not is lame. lame, it is lame. No. Everyone has their choice. Yeah. A free food court. Yeah. It's not a free food court. Only it was a free food court. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to overdo it because it's Jim Carrey. Who that the thing? That's it. That's it. That's it. I think it's Ace Ventura Pet Detective, or was it the second one? I don't know, one of the Ace Ventura. I don't think she understood what I was saying. She's like, oh yeah, well you can pick any whatever you want. I was like, but I want that up there. So, like, it's the pondin, right? It's like pondin flavored rice something. So she's like, oh, you just pick it here. It's like, yeah, but I don't know what it, I don't know what it looks like. I just picked something random, which is this, like, little jelly looking stuff. And then it's shaved ice, basically, with coconut milk and something. I don't know. It tastes really weird in this circumstance, though. No, definitely better in bread form. Can't tell. What, what's wrong? I, I can't handle the it's the texture. Like, the it's, it's, like, it's like you're eating.
eating slime. It's just so gross. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a little weird. I don't like it. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. No, don't do it. Don't do it. No, you're, 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 you're furthering your character. Oh, come on. I'm furthering the stereotype. Let's go. Oh, you don't have to have tons of it. Just just a little bit of the pink. No, the pink, the pink. No, come on, come on, come on. Yes, you just need a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. That's not a thing. Do I just like lick it? No. You make Alan throw up in the middle of the food court. I'm gonna be so mad at you. Ew. <laughs> Even Melissa's not doing it. Okay, no, 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 you're good. It's still stringy in my mouth. It's the consistency Melissa can't handle. Where's the green part? Ooh, we already ate it all. I ate it all oh. on that one giant bite. There's some. I'm sorry that I licked half of it. It's hard to break it up. Yeah. It was like vermicelli noodles or something. Mm -hmm. but... It isn't like the worst thing ever. It's just no. Smoky flavor. Yeah, there's something weird about that flavor. I can't figure it out. It's like slime. cold Maggie noodles. With coconut no. milk with also yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. Water. Because now all the shaved ice is Well, I, I think I got the wrong oh. thing. Like, I don't think I... And that's why I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to get, but I just want the pondin part. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Maybe it's pundu. I tried it everywhere. I said pondin, pondin, pundun. But I can't speak any tones. She's like, she just gave up. She's like, I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he has just made a stunning discovery, ladies and gentlemen. Are you, are you speaking to the secret agents? I'm on the way. I'm on the way. To sneak up on Melissa. Hey, baby. Hey, whoa. <laughs> you are so funny. Melissa has been dreaming, pining away for the following for a year. Last year we wandered into this department store in that same mall and saw the cutest plates. And I have, I have been pining away for them for a whole year. Look, they're so cute. Thumper and baby. And then some flowers. But? But this is the main event. No, actually. Those were the main events. Like this. Wow. Like I would remember. Now, I think last year they had a different size. This is the only size they had this year. I really wanted it in quarter plate size, but this is all they had. So. What's this quarter cool. plate? Oh. But. So a tiger. Tiger. Some random twa. But anyway. Been thinking about them for a whole year, and I found them, so they're going home with me. I almost bought a book at the ridiculously large bookstore they had. There's a really nice bookstore, and there's way more books in there that were in English than I expected there to be. I mean, I know it's the big touristy spot mall, but I just expect more stuff to be in Thai. It was tons of stuff in there. They had like like music theory books, even. It was it was really comprehensive bookstore. Quite nice. I looked at Brandon Sanderson's book. Uh, war breaker or something like that. Kind of big into Sanderson after reading uh, the Stormlight Archive. If you're into fantasy stuff, check him out. He's really good. Currently reading one that I actually got for Satya of his called Steel Heart. It's more of a superhero kind of thing, but with a little twist. Um, so big Sanderson fan. This has one other thing. I didn't buy it because it was uh, that one's a bit on the pricier side in comparison to India. So I'm just like, eh, I'm just gonna get this on Kindle. We also got chopsticks for beginners. <laughs> Baby chopsticks for us babies. Who don't know how to properly use chopsticks. I think before the end of this trip, I'm gonna count to 10, and hopefully we have at least one Thai viewer, or someone who knows something about Thai who can tell us what we're doing wrong uh, when we try to count. Because I'm sure we're not getting the tones right, even when we do say the. Till tomorrow, keep it creative, keep it cross-cultural, and keep it constructive, YouTube. Thank you very much.